the crashing noise of the ocean against the cliffside beneath his feet. Daryl takes a step back again, his foot half on the ground beneath him and half pressing against air. His brown eyes glance at the men in front of him, three of them with an assortment of rags and leather clothes. Pirates. Out looking for an easy mark to rob, each of them having telltale signs of corruption lingering on their skin, like a sickness that perpetuates the air around them. Oi, have you heard what they said about pirates? Darrow starts trying to talk to them, the entire time adjusting his posture to one that screams confidence, almost in a laughably condescending manner. The three men in front of him, each visibly tense, their hands grasping their weapons that they haven't drawn yet. What's that, boy? The bearded one of the three steps closer, his eyes never moving from Darrow's. They say they stink like the underbelly of a swamp bison, Darrow says loudly, then strikes out with a sweeping kick to connect with the bearded man's legs. The man briefly goes off balance, and in that moment, it's all Darrow needs as his body disappears into shadows, then reappears behind the pirate. A dagger that glows with a faint pink light, swiftly piercing the man's gut. As a spray of blood against the ground is all that is left to remind the remaining two pirates of their companion as his body falls into the water below. You're going to regret that, boy. One of the men says as he draws his cutlass, a vibrant light glowing from the blade. But when he slashes down, it only touches thin air. Daryl's body, already moving in between the two remaining pirates, to stand between them and the land. Sorry, old man. I think you're the ones that are going to regret messing with the raven, such as myself. Daryl gives a cocky grin as he pulls his shirt back to reveal a guild emblem of a raven with bleeding eyes. The remaining pirates face Cloud with the apparent recognition of the emblem, their skin tone visibly losing color as they get on their knees, their hands clasping in a pitiful display of begging. Please pity such fools as we, oh merciful raven. Daryl just smirks, then after moving his hands through the air, gives them an excessively pitiful look. I'll be quick then, merciful even. The two pirates only have a moment to look relieved before what he said sinks in. As it does, they hear the cracking of a stone, the channeling noise of hundreds of pounds of stone crashing into itself. The cliff starts to fall backward, severed from the stone that held it in place, almost in a clean cut. Twin hex blades floating in the air, glimmering in the sea mist, are the last sight the two pirates see before they land in the sea of charmed sharks. Daryl reaches into his pocket to take out a small book. On it is a list of bounties. After mocking off the three names with the worn piece of lead, he turns whistling to walk away from the bloody waters below him. Three down for today, twelve more to go.